there are three kinds of people, three kinds of people. You have the first that would say the end justifies the means. I just want the result. I don't care. You have the second that would say, well, I would just do the activities. I don't care about the result. Now, the first doesn't care about the activities. They just focus on the result. The second don't care about the result. They focus on the activities. And then we have the third group that I love so much. That group, I mean, I'm saying figuratively. <laughs> now, that group does not want to engage in the activities, does not want to do anything, just wants to enjoy the results. My name is Talon Oberimi Samuel. So we're just going to talk real quick about these three people, kinds of people. I don't know where you fall into, but let's look at it. I'm going to start from the bottom. Some people don't want to do the work at all. They just want the result. And that is why they want to always look for someone else to blame if something goes wrong. So if they want to see, sometimes if you're introducing a business to them, they want to tell you, well, you know what, I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing this because of you, I'm buying because of you. I know that you have to build your audience, create trust, okay, and then before you sell. But many people don't want to take responsibility and you have to be open to that. You have to pay attention to that. If you're in a business that involves you building a team, you must understand when you see people coming in that don't want to take responsibility, you should be able to spot them. I remember Ray Higdon would say that at one of his trainings I attended, he said he gives you an assignment. You don't do the assignment. He tells you not to come back to him until the assignment is done. Because if you have people in your organization, that is if, for instance, you were in a network, Mark, I'm just going to touch different bits of the home business life or entrepreneurship, all right? It means you're building weak people that will not take responsibilities for their actions. They take responsibility for their actions. They don't want to be held accountable. You do not want people that want to be held that don't want to be held accountable around you. Neither do you want to be someone that does not want to be held accountable. So seriously, you have to pay attention and ask yourself, am I that person that does not want to do the work, but I want the result? Listen. The moment you give someone else, the moment you blame someone else for something that has gone wrong in your life, you give the person authority. You pass the power over to the person. That's one. Number two is you pass over the privilege of learning from that happening, from that thing that has happened over to someone else. But when you take responsibility and say, it was my fault, how can I not, how, what do I need to do not to let such a thing happen next time? You have opened yourself to say, I'm a student of life. Teach me. What am I going to learn from this? Why am I here? What am I meant to pick from this? It changes everything. But when you blame and you push it, oh, not me. You're simply telling yourself, I don't think I'm ready to learn from all of these things. I mean, just go away. You never grow. The second kind of people are people that say, I want to go, I'm going from the bottom, are people that say, activity, activity, activity. Let's just keep doing the work. Let's just keep, it doesn't matter, the result is going to come. I agree. I agree with you. Just keep doing the activity. The result will come. The question is, what if you are doing the wrong activities? What if you have... What if, if, what if you've climbed a very tall wall only to realize at the very top that you have placed the ladder on the wrong wall? What if you've climbed to the top of the mountain only for you to find out that you've been climbing the wrong mountain? The third people, which I mentioned first, are the people who say, I don't care whatever, I just want the result. Truth. So the question is, you want the result. You don't care about the process. Who are you becoming in the process? Who are you hurting in the process? What are you destroying in the process? So by the time you put all of these things together, I'm sure in your head you must be thinking, so which one are we going to take? So I'm going to say, why don't we focus on, why don't we have a situation 
Of course, the first one I talked about is a no, no. You cannot be expecting a particular result when you are not willing to work for that result. It's a 100% no, no. And do not condone that in your family, your place of work, your life, your team, whatever people around you, your friends, anyone that's not willing to put in the work, anyone that's not willing to put in the discipline, that's not willing to put in the patience, but expects the result. It's not different from a thief. In fact, even a thief works. <laughs> because I'm not, I'm not encouraging thievery. I'm just, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. There's work to be done. Even in the process of robbing. There's a risk involved. So, so something as vile as that. So if you're looking for, again, it's not, it may not be the best example. I'm not encouraging it, not at all. But it, I'm just trying to paint a grave situation to, to, to drive home the importance of getting involved in creating the results. And why you should not for any reason tolerate anyone around you who is not willing to put in the work but wants the results. You should not. It's going to rub off eventually on you. So I think that the middle ground we need to look at is how can we focus on the right activities? Focus on the right activities. Be willing to engage in those activities. Focus on the activities, but fight for the results. Focus on the activities. Fight for the results. So you're not just, oh, let's go keep doing. No. So you're doing the activities. You're measuring to ensure that it's taking you to that desired result. You are making your fighting to make sure that activities are in line. They're in tune. They sync together step by step and eventually will produce that desired result. I hope it's not too complicated. So do not just focus on the activities, forget the result. Focus on the result, forget the activities. No, let's find a middle ground balance, all right? So that at the end of the day, we would get a desired result. I hope this video has been helpful somewhat. It's, it's a short video and I hope that it's been helpful. It's woken you up on the question, are you doing the work? Not are you doing a work or something? Are you doing the work the activities that will give you the results that you seek in as much as there is not a 100 percent guarantee of success any day any time i think so but when you do the right activities you involve in the right activities like i would always say you increase your chances my name is talon obremi samuel it's been a pleasure talking to you through this video and I hope that's been helpful. If it has been, please, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure that you um, click on the like button. Make sure you like, you click on the subscribe, you, you subscribe, you click on the button, the, the, you, you, you ding ding on the bell, right? <laughs> All right. So that you're going to be notified whenever I put out content like this. And then make sure you share the video. And I'd appreciate your comments on subjects you'd like me to talk about. If you agree or disagree on some of the things that I've shared, it's okay. That's these videos that I put out should actually be a point of a rallying point where we can talk about some hot subjects around becoming more effective as a person, becoming more effective as an entrepreneur, becoming a better person so that we can positively impact our societies, our families, our friends, and everywhere around us. My sincere desire for you, my friend, is that you go on succeeding by becoming a better version of yourself. Until I come your way again, bye for now.